everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's doing well today i'm going to show you how i made this really teeny tiny three by four inches um mini album binder flip book whatever you want to call it but it is so cute and i decided i'm gonna craft one on camera with you because it is so adorable so um yeah this is three by four inches um, I used Garden Party for this one, but I'm going to make another one with you today and I'm going to use um, Keeping It Real by Pink Fresh Studio. So I just put some um, seam binding around this one to keep it shut, but the one I'm going to make is going to be a little bit different. So this is what it looks like. So I used um garden party vellum on the outside because i thought that looks really cool but i've made these out of just acetate in the past and you can see there's acetate here i used some sequins here's a little binder mechanism thing which i'll show you in a minute and this one's just decorated i think it's so cute so i'm gonna leave it up here so actually I already pre-cut a couple of pieces so we're not here in five hours. Um, so this is the binder thing that I'm talking about. Um, got this from AliExpress and they're basically three mini album rings but they're all connected. So they work just like album rings. I'll show you what I normally use for binders. If I make bigger binders, I use these and I get these from AliExpress as well. And um, I have a lot of questions about these so I'm going to link these in my description box if you want to get one of these but today i'm making a three by four album so this is obviously a little bit too big these are perfect for a6 albums like the smallest size but i think this is so cute i love any anything miniature at the moment so i'm going to use this today i have my vellum and i'm going to use the same vellum because i mean it is garden party but it's it's black and white so it will also go with um, pink fresh studio so this outside bit is um so we have three by four inches so you have three inches one inch and another three inches so the piece you need is seven inches by four inches long and then i also got acetate bit here which is what's on the inside so it would be like this but acetate can be quite thin especially the one i have here so i'm using another sheet of acetate and this one i don't know if you can hear it this is very thick acetate and the one i'm using is from do crafts it's this one here this acetate is very thick and you could definitely skip this step if your sewing machine can go through these but my mine can't because it's a mini sewing machine so i have to improvise um you can also leave these out but i just like i like how strong this is like it's not flimsy so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna score these i want to score this vellum really carefully at three inches on each side Gonna do it really carefully because I actually ripped one <laughs> before. Okay, so it's scored a three inches, so we have a one inch spine. I'm gonna do the same thing with my acetate. In between both sheets, I'm actually gonna sandwich these thicker acetate pieces just because I want this to be quite strong. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of red line tape, like the tiniest pieces. So now I've got this done and it is a little bit flimsy but it doesn't matter because I'll be sewing this together and I used a pink sequin mix here and for this one I'm going to be using one that is actually in my shop this one's candy floss and it's this pretty pink purple and blue mix I thought that would look really cute um also for this one i haven't attached any ribbon to the side but for this one i am going to use a little bit of seam binding and i'm just going to sew it on the sides here so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go to my sewing machine and sew this together and show you what it looks like before we insert this 
binder mechanism and I will be right back. All right, I'm back from my sewing machine. So let me just trim off these bits here. So this is what it looks like right now. So I just sewed around the spine, the front and the back, added my sequins and also added some seam binding. I'm actually gonna just trim off a little bit more because we don't need that much on the side. So now um, I always hurt myself with acetate, so I'm actually gonna round these corners a little bit. And I'm just gonna use this um, tool here. So now I'm gonna use this. So what I did here is, now this is like a difficult bit um, because I don't have a crocodile that's long enough to reach down there, so I need to do it with a knife. Um, so you basically wanna just punch two holes on each side. Um, I'm gonna punch mine a little bit further apart than these ones here. I'm gonna grab my very dirty cutting mat so I don't damage my desk. So I'm just gonna place it down here and just... So obviously if you had um, one of those crocodile, I think they're called big bites. You could totally use them if, if you have something else, but I don't, so I'm just gonna use my knife. Okay, so this took a little bit longer than expected because I actually broke the tip of my knife. Um, anyways, I'm back. So now that we got this, now it's trying to get these binder rings through those holes, and I found this the most difficult bit. So I hope now that they are a bit further apart that this step will be a little bit easier. So I'm going to start with one side. And then try to do the other side as well. So this is this is a little bit fiddly. Um, I'm not sure if there's an easier way of doing this, but this is just how I've done it last night. And it took a little bit longer, but it, you know, it worked fine. Okay, so now I've got all of these in there. I don't want to close them. So you can see the middle one has kind of closed. So that's a bit annoying because I need to try and open it up again. Um, because obviously I want to push it to the inside. So I need to try and separate these a little bit. Here we go. Kind of pushed it forward a little bit center it okay so now you can see these ones yeah, let me actually just so these holes are a little bit further apart and it is so much easier to push these binder rings through than here so now what we can do is i've actually pre-decorated all of my pages right here um so let me show you these pages one by one. Um, I played with Pink Fresh Studio, Keeping It Real. I actually really love that collection. All right, so the inside is done. So now let's decorate the front. And I'm using a, this little piece, it's so beautiful. It's from Coco and Reno from their, so I'm just trying to grab it, from their um, May travel collection from their subscription kit and i'll have a link down below as well so i'm using this adventure um word die and i've layered it with some gold foiled cardstock and it is so pretty and so delicate i love it so i wanted to use these flowers because i really like them kind of like this and I cannot decide if I should use this one or this one, or maybe even both. I think I want to use both, but I think I'm going to distress this a little bit because I like the look of that. And this is such a cute little project to 
sent to your pen pals and it doesn't take a lot of work it's really quick to make and yeah i think it's just really really cute so i'm actually gonna layer this behind here got my glue somewhere i like these hearts but they're a little bit too colorful so i'm just gonna cover them up and i'm going to use my gold thread that i use pretty much on every single project and i think i'm running quite low so i have to buy another roll because i love this stuff it looks so pretty just peeking out behind a cut apart or an ephemera piece okay just like that And now I'm wondering if I should just layer this on top and have adventure here. So I'll just stick these down as well. I will use some of this stuff. looks pretty i'm going to um put this up on foam because i thought that looks really cool having a little bit of dimension all right and this is gonna go right here i just love all the soft colors of this collection and this i was just going to stick down here but i'm gonna have to use liquid glue for this okay all that's missing now are some enamel dots and i'm going to use these ones here by alter new they are beautiful and you can see i've already used up half of this so let's just stick some down here i love how much purple pink fresh studio uses in their collections so I don't think there's enough purple in like other collections. These are so small, <laughs> so hard to um to grab. Okay, just want some more on this flower here. I think we're done. Here we go, we're finished. Um, this is so cute and so tiny. Look at it. Um, so this is what the front looks like. And let me show you all of the pages. So I haven't done like a proper flip through yet. But we got this seam binding attached to the side. We can have, you can see our sequin mix here. And that's it and we have some more sequins on the back as well i think this is so cute and i forgot to tell you the dimensions of this paper the, these inserts um so they are two and a quarter by three and a half so i thought this is the perfect size so they don't stick out on the side and yeah um let me know what you think um if you want to give this a go as well i'd love to see yours um, everything I've mentioned I will leave that linked down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!